For 9e, what you want to do is you want to take the exponent on the outside of the bracket for both the numerator and the denominator and apply it to every single term or part of the term inside of that bracket. So we are going to apply the exponent of 4 to the negative 2, to the x, and to the y to the exponent of 3. We're also going to apply the exponent of 3 in the denominator to the negative 2 and the y to the exponent 4. So th what this will look like is we're going to have negative 2 to the exponent of 4, x to the exponent of 4, and y cubed to the exponent of 4. Note that I put this in a bracket to show that I wanted to make this um, the whole exponent to the exponent of 4, so then it becomes a power of a power. I'm going to do the same thing with my denominator. I'm going to have negative 2 to the exponent of 3, and then y to the exponent of 4 to the exponent of 3. From here, I want to simplify what I can either by using actual numerical values, so finding out what the answer would be to negative 2 to the exponent 4, or by simplifying my exponent laws or um, simplifying my exponents using the exponent laws for my variables. Um, before I start to even look at uh, calculating the numerical value for negative 2 to the exponent 4 and negative 2 to the exponent 3, I'm going to save this for one more step because then I can simplify my exponents using exponent laws um, to make my calculations a little bit uh, nicer to work with. So I'm just going to keep negative 2 to the exponent 4. I still have my x to the exponent 4. And then because I have a power of a power, I need to multiply my exponents. So I have my base of y, and then 3 times 4 gives me 12. For my denominator, I have my negative 2 to the exponent 3. And then I have my power of a power for my base of y. 4 times 3 is 12. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify my exponents using what I know about dividing. So anytime I'm dividing and my bases are the same, I subtract my exponents. So I'm just going to continue it on over here on the right-hand side. So I'm going to start with my negative 2. 4 take away 3 is 1. Then I'm going to move on to my x. I don't have an x term in the bottom, so I'm just left with x to the exponent 4. And then I'm going to move on to my y. 12 take away 12 is 0. So now I don't have any calculations that I need to do because I have an exponent of 1 left for my negative 2. So I'm going to have negative 2 and then x to the exponent 4. I know that y to the exponent 0 is 1, so I can either show that I'm going to multiply this by 1, which won't change the value of it, so it's just going to become negative 2x to the exponent 4.